tough race. Google has just announced its own custom in-house chips. And the proposition here comes down to compute power costs and scarcity, a lot of what we were talking about. Google, though, is on both sides of this Gen AI race. The company itself is developing models and applications, but as a cloud provider, it also needs to provide compute power to its cloud customers. So AI resources for which high-end chips are critical has to be rationed in some way or another, or it needs to be brought in-house to reduce reliance on those outside vendors like in NVIDIA. The move also lets Google compete with chip makers like AMD and Intel. As we saw Intel's new Gaudi 3 chips, the chip wars, they are indeed heating up. And now Google can also position itself as a potential chip provider for cloud customers to rely on for AI workloads. So that is what Google and its mega cap rivals are doing. Axion is Google's latest expansion into custom chips, which the company says is capable of a range of tasks from powering Google search engine to AI related work. The success of Google's custom chips so far, it has been mixed. Gen AI darlings like character.ai and Anthropic, they have used Google TPUs, but it isn't the full hardware software stack that NVIDIA, as we were just talking about, has built and which has helped it retain its dominance. And that, that is ecosystem, really key. That ecosystem that they have. Exactly. And you've got Google, right? It already has this cloud infrastructure. It's the number three player in terms of hyperscalers. You've got AWS, you've got Microsoft's Azure, and then you've got Google. This is a real opportunity here, actually, for Google to gain some ground if they have the right tools. And it's all, I'm told, about openness and choice. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. any enterprise that wants to develop their new gen AI offerings, they want to go to the cloud provider that has the Anthropic, the ChatGPT, the many, many other models. And so it's a, it's a coming battle between these three giants, really. Yeah, and that's why you see to watch. all of these cloud events, right? You see it at AWS and Google Cloud Next is going on right now. They're all touting all these tools and all of their partners and all the customers sort of that are using their cloud infrastructure. So it feels like kind of a new battle. First it was over infrastructure, then it was over apps, and now it's over Gen AI yeah. tools. Yeah, how it's changed. Yeah, the evolution of it is fascinating to watch.